And he's back. Saturday, the 7th of March. I'm on my own today, so this is going to be fun. I'm wrapping all this uh, stuff and trying to lay it on my own, but I've got to push on. We've got to get this screen down to help push the job on. Um, I think I'm going to start in this little bathroom. I've just done wrap the pipe there. That's the smallest of the pipes we've got, a 60 metre length. Um, importantly, I've got a spray where the toilets go in, the shower tray vanity unit going there so there's actually not a lot of piping going in here so what I might do is just close up the gaps and do it a little bit tighter um, just because why not right importantly I've just got to make sure I unroll it and don't get myself tangled or let this unroll because we did have a bit of a disaster yesterday where Richie got a bit carried away and it ended up like a bird's nest. Right, that's the uh, master on suite done. It's a bit higgledy piggledy, but purely because it's such a tight area to get it in, I wanted to try and get it in as tight as possible. So that's that zone done. I'm now going to do the main bathroom. So I've just uncoiled that already, set up my staple gun. So um, we'll start that one. That's the main bathroom pipe done. So this is the flow going this way, which means it gets the hot water the quickest. Up and down, up and down, up and down, and then it takes the long way all the way back. That's to allow the pipes from these rooms to have room to go. That's why these CAD drawings are really good, so uh, if you don't have any disasters, because if you get it wrong, you end up having to cross pipes over, which is a big no-no. So just by carefully following this, it just you know does the route for you. Um, right, I've just unwrapped that one, so we'll do this room next. And that is another room successfully done. Wonder bar. Right, so last room is this uh, living room snug, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's broken up into two um, circuits. Um, this circuit on this side is 74.8 meters. Um, which leaves us an extra 20 meters left over if we use the 100 meter roll. I'm sort of hoping potentially we can do the whole loop on one rather than split it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side, go up and down, keep the spacings and hopefully because we've covered this area here, um, it might work out okay. But we don't know. So I'll just uh, try it and see what happens. Right, this is the last of the 100 mil rules, so like I said, hopefully it'll do the whole lot. Um, 
I know some of you watch these um, videos to like, you know, obviously help with your own projects and that. With regards to doing this job, quite honestly, as long as you take your time and read the CAD draw, you can't really go wrong. The only major issue, and it's not even a major issue, is just when you're doing the turns, you, you notice we're working the pipes like this. That was a tip that we were given by um, someone that doesn't, you know, you know, they've installed it more than us. Because uh, this is literally my first time. Um, so it just makes it a little bit more pliable. Um, if it does kink, what they say to do is you don't carry on, you adjust it to get the kink out and then just reset it. Um, so sometimes the loop might have to be a little bit out of place to where you want it. Um, there's an example of it over there where it kinked, so we've just carried it on further. And I mark on the wall not to drill when we put our sole plates in, so, you know, just in case we were to accidentally drill into it. Um, apart from that, the only other tip I can really give is as you're undoing it, I'll show you what we do. We just pull a load loose and then you literally just turn the whole coil to unwind it. So... You do that, and then you can just pick the whole coil up, and then just literally, you just turn it like this, and then coil it, and that way it will just unloop itself. Right, let's get laid on. Right, that is all the underfloor heating pipe, all done. Happy days. I'm quite pleased that um, final run did the whole lot. Um, the CAD drawing wasn't exactly accurate because the original plans um, have been changed, even though our proper plans are totally like different. And when we got the CAD drawing, it was slightly out um, just because. Um, but I took the risk and it's worked out sort of thing. It's easy, like I say, you can just keep an eye on the length of the pipe and you can work out if you're gonna have enough to get back. Um, the good thing about that, that means we have a spare one on the manifold. So all of these pipes will connect return flow, return flow the whole way along, which means we've got a spare one now. So what I'll probably use that for is the uh, towel rail in um, this bathroom. Um, so then in the winter time, we'd have a towel rail permanently plumbed in, permanently hot. In the summer over here, as you well know, if you live down in the lot, you don't need it because it's roasting. So uh, it'd be a nice little extra to have. Um, I'm now going to have a really good clean up again. By clean up, really just clear everything out. So I don't want nothing in it. We just get rid of everything. I'm going to ask a friend if I can stash all that at his house as well. Um, it just makes life easier as a builder, you know, you, you want an empty site, you don't want no one else there, you want it just totally cleared out, ideally, because then you can come in, get your job done and get out again. No worries, you ain't got to work around anybody else's mess. So as a builder, um, I'd like to do that for any other trades that are going to be coming in to help me. Um, so, yeah, really pleased. Um, see you in the next video.